Today I'd like to show you another totally different structure uh, created by a friend of mine, Fred Slade from Geelong. He was presented with some curriculum changes, mostly year 10, that he had to deal with. So he came up with this really clever model. So we've got a 60 period cycle, which is a 10 day timetable, 30 periods each week, six periods each day. So that's a fairly standard timetable format in Australia. Year 11s and 12s are virtually the same timetable. There are six elective lines or six blocks. Um, and then they wanted the, the year 11 and 12 kids to have common spares every second Wednesday, I think it was. So they had every second Wednesday free. So that's pretty straightforward. The year 11s can accelerate and do year 12 subjects if they want. Now down at year 10, we have a totally different structure. They wanted subjects that ran for six periods in their elective. So they've got six blocks or six elective lines at year 10. The kids are grouped together for maths, so they're broken up into their ability groups. So maths runs at the same time. There's a half PE, English PE block. So half the kids do English, half the kids do PE. And then that swaps around over there. The trick was, was we wanted to allow year 10 students to accelerate and do year 11 subjects. So that meant when they were in year 10, we had to account that their four and a half periods a week or nine periods a fortnight would cover two blocks, two of the year 10 elective blocks. So, and then also if, if they were in a subject there, they had to really be in a subject and another nine period of fortnight subject. They couldn't be in one of those two. So Fred did all the grunt work and came up with the, the subjects. So the year 11 and 12s, they're the subjects in the elective line one. So that, that runs for a double, a single, and then a double. That's five periods in the first week. And in the second week, this single uh, didn't run. So that's where the nine periods comes from. At year 10, however, we had to mesh in the three elective blocks that would fit under two elective blocks at year 11 and 12. Um, so that's quite a difficult thing to do to make sure that the kids get their choices. So there's a little bit of an example of some of the subjects. Uh, I think Fred came up with the name that this block two, hopefully you can see, he called it the block of death, um, as was this block five over here, because what, what this structure means is, is we can't have any subject um, resources, teachers and rooms that are common in this group of subjects and in this group of subjects and in the year 11s and 12s. Now that's pretty restrictive. So to be able to staff and room this sort of configuration means that this block here, this elective block at year 10, is the one that's going to be the most compromised. So I, I think the block of death is... Uh, uh, an appropriate name. In the end, Fred got it to work with a lot of a lot of effort and a lot of good software, um, but that was the plan that helped him uh, move forward.